Welcome, Fred and David. We're here in uh, Lisbon, Portugal, and we're talking to uh, a couple of the executives from Essen Robotics. Uh, and uh, we'd like to understand this is a robotics company, well, AI ro in robotics, uh, promising startup. And we'd like to understand a little better what is the difference about this AI? Early, basically, early 2015. The technology in autonomous driving and you know, robotic control was maturing, and yet the capability wasn't actually getting much, much better. So our last mile capability of the vehicle wasn't really there. And we can still see that still with a lot of our competitors, that uh, level three technology is just not really going to cut it. So we wanted to find a better path to level five. And so what we did is we, we started using what we call simulation-based learning to, to allow an AI to, to learn in a simulated environment that is as close to the real world as possible um, and, as, and allows the AI to learn from very simple uh, uh, actions all the way to very complex actions in a way that uh, allows it to uh, stably learn uh, the behaviors uh, while constrained by the, the things that are important for us like safety and control. And uh, what we found over the last two years as we've grown our team now to 70 people will be close to 90 by December I think, um, is that the, the AIs are actually learning at a faster rate than we actually thought. So one of the key findings we found, for example, is that we could actually take a very, very simple uh, scenario, uh, train the AI uh, to learn a simple task, and then apply that same task to a more complex scenario with almost uh, no uh, overhead in the way that the AI learns which allows us to uh, spend less resources to train more complex behaviors and allows us to actually move that AI from different robots. So that's why we do autonomous vehicles, but we also do autonomous uh, industrial robotics. And it's the same underlying AI that does it. Exciting times in robotics and autonomous vehicle. Can you talk a little bit about the specific plans for 2019 to the extent that you can? Yes, uh, in 2019, uh, next year, we're going to start shipping our first AI licenses to uh, major robot companies. And then um, beyond 2020, we're going to start building the, uh, the next generation cars with uh, our solutions to make uh, fully autonomous uh, capabilities uh, for the uh, several large car companies. You, you'll be able to see the cars at the Olympics. So please come, come down yes. and check Excellent. Exciting times ahead, so stay tuned with IoT World as we'll be tracking the progress of the Ascent Robotics. Thank you so much, Davey and, Dave and Fred. Thank you.